Hello all, if you want to watch this video in Telugu, please go through the link in the description. In this video, I am going to talk about Infosys last section that is numerical puzzle test. Here total, 4 questions will be there which carries 10 marks. Out of 4 questions, 2 are 2 marks questions and 2 are 3 marks questions. The level of difficulty of 2 marks questions will be easy and 3 marks questions will be medium. But in real time, comparatively, 3 marks questions will be easier than 2 marks questions. So out of 4 questions, 1 2 marks question will be tricky and difficult. So if you can skip that particular question, you can make use of time well. So in this particular video, we are going to discuss 8 numerical puzzles which were asked in recent drives. So I will explain you the solution as well. But the last two questions are for your practice. So watch this video till the end and try to solve the last two problems on your own and put your answer in the comment box. And don't forget to follow our aptitude at the page in Instagram for more practice questions. So let's start with the puzzles. As I said, I am going to explain you total 8 questions uh, in this video and the first one is a 2 marks question. This question has total 3 rows and 4 columns. If you observe, the first 3 columns has very smaller numbers whereas the last column has larger numbers, I mean bigger numbers, 50, 58 like that. So we can interpret one thing, the last column is resultant of first three columns. So like, you know, we need to do some mathematical operations to get the last column. Here the logic is very simple, we need to multiply 6 and 7 and then add 8 to get 50. So 6 7s are 42 plus 8 gives you 50. Let me check the same logic whether it works in the second row or not. So four, 5 into 9 is 45 plus 13 is 58. So the logic worked here, so I will implement the same for the last row as well. So 8 into 13 equal to how much 8 into 13 plus 6 how much so 8 13s are 104 and 6 gives you 110 so i'll write the same here 8 13s are 104 plus 6 gives you 110 and 110 is the answer so let's check another problem here it is a three marks question and can you observe all the numbers mentioned here are perfect squares right so here 49 64 81 121 169 225 all are perfect squares so 49 is 7 square 8 square 9 square 11 13 15 square 12 square and 18 square but can you observe they are not consecutive 7 8 9 are consecutive but next number must be 10 if it is consecutive so i can interpret like this 7 plus 1 gives you 8 8 plus 1 gives you 9 11 plus 2 13 plus 2 so my guess is it should be plus 3 so 12 plus 3 is 15 15 plus 3 is 18 so it's very clear the question mark is 15 square that is 225 and 225 is the answer so as it is third three marks question we will see one more question here so when you look at the problem initially it feels very simple 57 plus 42 gives you 99 but when you try the same for second line i mean second row then it will not work 17 plus 56 equal to 37 oh not possible it must be more than 56 right so 37 is not a correct answer then what could be the logic if you observe carefully 17 plus 56 when I add the units places, it will be 13, 3 and 3 is in tens place. So I got the logic when I reverse 99, it also gives you 99 only now. That units place and tens digit will be 9 only. So uh, if I am right, my logic is we need to add the two numbers and then reverse the digit. So 57 plus 42 gives you 99. When I reverse it, it will be 99 only. Similarly, 17 plus 56 gives you 73. And when you reverse it, it will be 37. Wow, I got the logic. So getting answer is just 5, five seconds matter. Now 34 plus 19 gives you 53. So when I reverse it, it will be 35. So 35 is the answer. It is as simple as it is. So let's move to the next problem and here we, can you observe the last row it has bigger numbers so first two rows we need to some mathematical operations to get the last row so we can say it's the logic is in columns not in rows so the logic 
is in column so 3 plus 4 is how much 7 and 7 cube is 343 and similarly 5 plus 3 is 8 and 8 cube is 512 so i got the logic and it's very simple 2 plus 3 is 5 and 5 cube will be 125 and 125 is the answer actually it's a three marks question but you cannot expect all the questions as simple as it is so let me try the next one can you see the last column has perfect squares it's a two marks question actually and 121 is at the end so 4 plus 7 gives you 11 11 square is 121 similarly 8 plus 5 is 13 13 square is 169 so it's very simple one 9 plus 6 gives you 15 and 15 square is 225 so 225 will be the answer for this question right so next one take some time and pause the video you try to solve the next one so initially when you see where is the bigger numbers here we need to find out that first you see 5 9 4 35 64 7 7 16 so out of these 35 and 64 are the bigger numbers and they are at the middle so don't consider 5 plus 4 equal to 9 or 7 plus 16 equal to 7 how can it be no 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 remember where the bigger numbers are that will be the resultant so middle row will be the resultant so how we can get 35 from first row and last row i mean 5 and 7 7 5s are 35 so just multiply first row and the last row it gives you the middle row right let me check with the last column 4 into 16 is 64 right so it works so 9 into 7 how much that will be the answer 9 7s are 63 and 63 is the answer so 63 will be the ultimate answer when you multiply 9 and 7 perfect guys if you want all these questions for your practice don't take screenshots you just follow our instagram page there i uploaded all the videos all the images for your practice so simply search for adda underscore aptitude in instagram with this image you can follow it not only these questions you will get all practice questions are all different different companies okay so in this particular problem let us see where we have bigger numbers oh here we don't have any bigger number but can you find the middle column it's o it's i huh it's a three marks question remember in the middle column you can find o and i and question mark so these are the alphabets so i can do one thing i can interpret their numerical values o stands for 15th position in the alphabetical series so i ninth position so i will consider o as 15 i as 9 how you will get 15 7 plus 8 9 5 plus 4 similarly 9 plus 2 is 11 kings 11 k 11 stands for k so kings 11 so easily you can remember k stands for 11 so answer will be k and just search in the options k will be the answer so let us see the next problem can you find it's a 4 by 4 grid so it's a 3 marks question and as it is 4 by 4 grid you may feel it as a difficult one but it's very simple just look at the numbers 7 9 11 13 so 7 plus 2 is 9 9 plus 2 is 11 11 plus 2 is 13 similarly 78 plus 3 is 81 plus 3 is 84 plus 3 is 87 and look at the last row 57 plus 5 is 62 plus 5 is 67 plus 5 is 72 so they have particular uh, series right so based on my knowledge based on my logic plus 4 91 plus 4 gives you 95 plus 4 gives you 99 so plus 4 1 or 3 will be the answer and of course in the options we have 1 or 3 and 1 or 3 is the right answer